Hey, I am a master student at IIT Madras. Unless other IITs, my life is very challenging because, because I didn't get placed. So to build my career, I need at least 4 to 7 hours a day apart from accounts. So being a reader, I decided to apply the principles of time management implemented by a successful organization and people into my life. Time management. Good engineer. Lousy management. And it works. I got better at managing my time. And I created a template for myself to apply these principles every day without thinking and installed two apps that will assist in staying productive. And I'm gonna share all that with you. And the reason I made this video is like I prepared for gate two years and during that time it was a pain being jobless and seeing all your friends going very faster in their life and you eventually find some of your friends end up in a career they love he's my p-tech college mate <laughs> time is precious so you should crack gate in college itself that's the reason to end up in a career i love in last semester i didn't prioritize placement instead my priority was to become an entrepreneur being insecure and under pressure i keep making videos and taking classes for you till march first week but then my academic load piled up so i started working on my entrepreneurship and started working on my academy then i added more stress into my life being a person who always trying to be the best in whatever i do i started writing a journal paper based on my research which is not a record requirement for MS and not everyone in MS will do. So now the equation for me is very simple. I have to balance both accounts and my entrepreneurship career and I have to succeed in both. And I have to do a lot of work and I need time. So I learned and applied how one can get it and I'm sharing with you. Let's start. Starting with the first one, I'll use an example with Apple to demonstrate its effectiveness. Why is Apple so innovative? Year after year after year after year, they're more innovative than all their competitions. Steve Jobs, the revolutionary mind behind Apple. Under his guidance, Apple created groundbreaking products like the iPhone, iPad and Mac computers that transform the way we live and work. An Apple computer. A thousand songs and it goes right in my pocket. Pod. A phone. <laughs> and an internet communicator. During this time, despite having the talent pool, many other companies can't able to produce extraordinary results. Why? There were people that were going off in 18 different directions. What happened was you look at the, the, the farm that's been created with all these different animals going in different directions and it doesn't add up. It, the, the, the total is less than the sum of the parts. The answer is simple. Steve Jobs always, always believed in the idea of saying no. Focusing is about saying no. He said no to many ideas and staying laser focused on important ideas. iPod, a phone. Are you getting it? These are not three separate devices. This is one device, and we are calling it iPhone. So the main takeaway here is say no to many unemployed. Instead of being average in all, decide what you really want from college. If you are going to do a job that you are eventually going to quit, why are you preparing for placements now? Think about it. So before moving on to the next, when one talk about productivity, it's also important to be noted that nowadays there are many apps that will make our life much easier. I'll give you my top two recommendations, but before that, saying no is crucial, but that's not enough. How have you ever experienced this? It's 5 a.m. Let's use mobile for some time. Who is the funniest? Ishan. Batch later. Oh yeah, I'm dirty, but I'm so damn clean. It's steady gate for an hour. It's 8 a.m. I thought it's only 7. I have to go to college. This is what happens generally because us humans, we mostly underestimate the time we spend on tasks. According to a survey by National Sleep Foundation, Americans believe they sleep on an average of 7 hours each night. However, when measured, the actual sleep was 8.6 hours. In another study, people who claim to work 60 to 64 hours per week actually worked only 44 hours. So how to best utilize the time in our day? The answer comes from one of my favorite productivity books of all time, Deep Work, which says schedule each and every minute of your day. Give every minute of your workday a job, make a reasonable plan for the time you have available. That's how things get done. Here's how to do it. Open your to-do app or Excel. Write down the task that you want to accomplish today. Make a 30 minutes block from 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. Depend upon the sleep time you sleep every day. Now schedule your work in boxes. This is called time boxing. So talking to this, we have our first app recommendation. So for scheduling purpose, use cloud-based notes or Excel app. 
so that it will be easy to access. I use Apple Notes personally. It's convenient for me and created a template for myself. For you, I created the same template in Excel sheet. It's free for all of you. It's in my Telegram group. Link in the description. And do subscribe my channel as I will be giving more resources and create more videos for you. Maximize your potential in gate exam. Now, if you are a college student, you should try to minimize your time spent on academics without compromising on CGPA. How can we do that? Is that even possible? That's why I'm going to share a special bonus hack with you. So let me tell you a story of a person in 1800s in Paris. One day while he was garden, he made an interesting observation in his garden. He noticed that always some small number of pea pods produce a majority of the peas. He was like, why the pattern is always like that? But the gardener is not just a gardener who simply eats peas. He was an economist. He started noticing same pattern everywhere. For example, the distribution of wealth in Italy, he found that approximately 80% of the land in Italy was owned by only 20% of the population. He was like, oh, that's interesting. Maybe a coincidence. And he observed the pattern everywhere. Although specific numbers varied, pattern stays. This observation became later known as the Pareto principle or the 80-20 rule, where a small percentage of the factor or people consistently reap the majority of the reward. So you understood what I'm trying to tell you, right? So before moving on to the final hack, let's talk about the second tool here. Before that, have you ever experienced with this? Yes, you are. Studying. Man, I feel difficulty in understanding. Let's use mobile for some time. Opens Instagram. Kita started live. Me and I'm a Barbie girl. In the Barbie world. Okay, let's study. What? My crush liked my post? Okay, let's study. Sanjay uploaded a post. Travel never stops. Why not a dream? Man is enjoying his life. Shruti uploaded a post. Go or diaries. When all your friends are enjoying and you are studying for gate exam, negative comparison. Raghuram Chandra Kumar released a new video. Let's go! When your brain finds slight boredom or stress, it will often look for distraction and mobile phone distractions is the main. Use the forest or planty app. It's basically a timer you set for your study time. And during that time, if you check your phone, your virtual dream dies. Now that's sad. Now coming to third hack, it reminded me of the first ever successful rocket launch of SpaceX. Tell us what you're feeling. Um, definitely one of the best days of my life and I think also for a lot of people here at SpaceX. On March 24, 2006, during the first launch of Falcon 1 rocket failed. Being a not so established company, SpaceX faced so many challenges, including not having the efficient technology. But the man behind the process was who? My favorite, Elon Musk. Yeah, cool, no, it's so cool. Okay, so Elon is known for his many things, but I really value his relentless optimism and aggressive deadlines. To accelerate the development in space exploration technology, Elon Musk imposed a tight time constraints and it works. Despite three failures, SpaceX in 2008 on their fourth attempt successfully launched the Falcon 1 rocket become the first privately developed liquid fueled rocket to do so. Main key takeaway is when you set tight deadlines your progress will be much more faster rather than not. So friends set deadlines for each product on daily basis, weekly basis and monthly basis. Because have you ever heard of Parkinson's law? It basically says that work tends to take up all the time we give it. Example, if you have two days for finishing a portion for an exam. Surprisingly, you will find a way to finish the entire syllabus by the second day. But if you have four days, you will somehow end up using all four days to finish the same portion. It's interesting how setting deadlines can actually save us time. So set deadlines. It's a time saver. So finally, I want to end this video with one powerful quote. APJ Abdul Kalam once said, dream, dream, dream. Dreams transform into thoughts and thoughts result in action. To achieve your dreams of cracking gate exam, having a strategic approach is crucial. And if you are in college, your strategy has to be more precise because you have a limited time. So check out this video where we discuss the strategy for cracking gate 2024 in college to get under 100.